Well, this is a little bit surreal. So I've got a Nissan Leaf on the driveway. You'll notice it's not the normal Nissan Leaf that we've got. It's a black one and it's charging. This is not our car. So I'll tell you a little story about what happened. So I'm inside this black leaf, this mystery black leaf that's on our driveway. So let me tell you what happened. Last night, my family and I were eating dinner and there were some flashing orange lights outside. And I thought, okay, it's just obviously like some sort of recovery vehicle or something like that. So I just came out and just double checked that everything was okay. And I noticed the silhouette of a leaf. A Nissan leaf is a very distinctive silhouette. And then I thought, oh my God, is our Nissan leaf that was parked on the road, is that being towed away for some reason? But I got closer and I noticed it was a black leaf. And I just spoke to the people there just to see if I could help at all. And it turns out that this leaf had been purchased by someone just up the road, someone I'd never met before, by the way. And they were, they'd picked this up from BCA auctions. They bought it from a BCA auction and they'd driven it back. I don't remember how many miles, but anyway, they'd been driving it back. And as they were driving, the range kept dropping quite significantly. And um, so they obviously panicked a little bit, went into the motorway services and they charged up or tried charging, but it took on a rapid charger, this is, it was taking like two hours or something like that to get to 100%. It just kept going and kept going. And they thought, well, that's not right. So um, so they carried on driving and again, it started dropping again. And eventually it just failed completely and they had to pull into a lay-by um, just up the road somewhere. And then they had to wait for the tow truck to come and bring it here. So they were just dropping it off outside because there wasn't enough room to get near their house. So they were just dropping it off outside and then I came out and I just said, you know, can I help at all? And they explained the situation. And I said, well, okay, well, let's get it on our drive and um, perhaps we can charge it up on the charger here. So um, the 12 volt, at this point, the 12 volt had obviously died as they always tend to if the hazards have been left on for ages. So the uh, recovery person put it in neutral to get it off the back of the tow truck and then it died again as we tried to uh, drive it into my driveway so um, and then we just ended up having to push it and I was steering got it on the driveway and the 12 volt again had died the funny thing with the 12 volt is it, it's it's very odd if it does start to die then weird things happen like windscreen wipers started coming on and we couldn't turn them off and um, thing you could do some things but not others in the car like the heated steering wheel would come on but we couldn't, un we couldn't undo the charge port. So we were there for ages trying to get the charge port open and it was absolutely pissing it down with rain. And there is a way in the leaf, I think, of manually opening the charge port, but it involves taking apart, you've got to get under the bonnet, I think you've got to take a cover up. Um, anyway, we, we just weren't going to do it then. So um, this morning um, we had, uh, he got someone out from uh, the RAC, which is a, another breakdown company and I think this was organized by BCA, the auction house, because he complained to BCA, it's kind of saying, look, I've bought a lemon from you and it's BCA assured, which means that it shouldn't be a lemon. And um, so they sent out RAC, the RAC came in, plugged in their little device and yeah, it turns out it was, I mean, pretty bad. It was coming out with loads and loads of different fault codes. Um, so we at least managed for some reason the button and worked again, we could open the charge port and we plugged it in and it's been charging for a few hours now um, and it's almost at 100 percent another sort of hour i think to 100 percent so one of the things i said was it's worth charging up to 100 percent on a slow charger because if this has been sat on a it's been sat for ages somewhere the volt the cell voltage of the battery can go all over the place and it needs to be charged to 100 percent charging to 100 percent is good once in a while um, on a slow charger not a rapid um, once you do that, it calibrates it and it should be a bit more reliable. So that's what I'm doing now. However, um, what he told me about this leaf is a few things that have, give, have raised alarm bells and I kind of wish that he just knocked on my door and because he knew uh, apparently he had watched my videos before. So uh, he knew who I was and where I live. This is a 30 kilowatt hour leaf. And the leaf that we've got is a 24 kilowatt hour. And apparently the 30 kilowatt hour is is much worse in terms of battery degradation. So if you see a 30 kilowatt hour leaf, then um, it's, it's, it can be a little bit suspect. So uh, this is the same age as my leaf, by the way, six months old, uh, six months newer, sorry. 
perhaps, but um, the battery state of health on mine, I've got 11 out of 12 battery health bars. And this one, again, another alarm bell raising, this one has nine bars. So obviously nine bars of battery health doesn't get you very far in a Nissan Leaf. It doesn't matter if it's a slightly bigger battery, it's still not very good. So there are some things to learn from this. So firstly, I don't know how much you paid, but you can get a good deal at auction houses, but um, you do also have to double check a couple of bits. Now, Leafs are really good generally. I mean, they're fantastic cars, very solid, reliable and everything. But yes, this particular model has some issues. And when I've gone to auction, I've done it through Eco Cars. And Eco Cars can check things on like, the screenshots. And if you're new to EVs, um, it's re it really helps having someone who knows what they're talking about. They would, uh, they would look at the dashboard and they would say, wait a minute, no, this has only got nine bars. That's not enough. That's going to be pretty dodgy. So that's really good if you can get someone with experience to look at those kinds of things, because when you're buying from an auction, you are, it's, you know, you can't go there easily and check things before bidding. So it's it's really important that you you have someone look at it that actually knows what they're talking about, um, even if it's just looking at the pictures online. So um, so yeah, nine bars of health is a bit of a red flag. The problem is that what's probably happened in the past is that Nissan Leafs are terrible with battery management. It has no thermal management at all. So when the battery charges up, it gets hotter, the higher up, it, the, the uh, faster it charges, and the Leaf does nothing about that. It doesn't, doesn't even blow any air on it. It just lets it go as hot as it wants. And then if you leave it sat on your drive up at 100% for a while, then that will... Um, speed up the degradation and that's probably what's happened here so nine bars is pretty awful so it probably means that someone has been rapid charging a lot and they have probably just left it at a hundred percent for a while and that's what happens it's uh yeah really bad degradation and not only the degradation it seems to get pretty unstable as well so it could be that there are completely dead cells in this battery that would need repairing. Because you don't have to throw away a whole leaf battery. You can just replace cells in the battery. And there are companies like Cleveley EV um, who can do that kind of thing. Um, usually independent garages. If you take it to a Nissan garage, they'll probably try and charge you for a whole new big battery. So uh, if you go to independent garages, Hevra ones, if you're in the UK, look for Hevra garages then um, many of those will be able to do actual battery um, repairs and not just a replacement. I'm almost charged up to 100%, and now let's skip to it being charged to 100% and me getting all geeky with the OBD port. Okay, so it's the next day. I fully charged this leaf. Uh, let's see what it says inside. So... Fully charged, and yet it says 55%. I mean, I say fully charged. Oh, that's interesting. Motor power is limited. Yeah. Oh, it really is dead, isn't it, this car? The bars there, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bars, nine out of 12. But you see, it just won't charge up. So I need to move it off my drive, really. Okay, well, it is moving. What I don't want to do is get it stuck on my drive. Okay, so I've moved it off the drive. Interesting though, that it says limited power notice and it's got the little tortoise. Some people call it a turtle, but it's not, it's a tortoise actually. Um, so we've got, we've got the tortoise symbol, which happens normally when you get the battery so low that it starts just limping along. And when you get that, it's um, brown trousers time. And normally that's when you get a little bit scared. Um, but there's also another symbol, which I've never seen before on the dash. But it's weird that it's coming up with that and yet it's 55%. Now, my friend Jonathan Porterfield, I asked him because I wondered with um, the leaf, when it degradates this much, um, obviously I've charged up to 100%, but it's still saying 55%. It just, it's just gone 56%, weirdly. Um, yeah, so it's charged up as much as I can possibly get it, and yet it's saying 56%. Now, I'm, I was wondering whether leafs, when they degradate, whether it's always says 100% if it's fully charged and yet you've got 
less capacity, less real range, or whether it just says, yeah, like this does, 56%. In fact, it's now gone 57. Weird. Um, anyway, no, what should happen, it should say 100% if it's charged up to 100%, even if the battery is only um, 9 out of 12 bars, whatever, whatever that is. But yeah, look at this. So that was like 55, now it's gone 56, now 57. It'd be interesting if it goes to 58. It could be that the battery management system, the BMS, it could be that it's desperately trying to work out what's going on. But it sounds like cells and the battery have failed or something like that. I think that's what's happened here. But yeah, that's the, the tortoise symbol, the turtle symbol. And that, I don't know what that is, but probably maybe that's motor power limited. Yeah, you can see it says limited power notice. Yeah, not good. So the person that owns this leaf, I don't know how much they paid for it, and um, they're away at the moment actually, and they'll come back tomorrow, so I'll, I'll talk to them then. I'm not sure I'll film it, because maybe they, they might not want to be on camera. But unfortunately, they got it through the auction house BCA. BCA have B, this BCA assured thing, and I think that means that it's supposed to, they're supposed to assure whether it works okay or not. Um, but that is limited to cars under eight years old, and this has just turned eight. Um, and Nissan themselves have a battery warranty, 100,000 miles or eight years, and of course it's just gone. So the previous, the previous owner really should have got it replaced from Nissan under warranty. While I was editing this video, I thought maybe it would make sense to check the warranty situation. So I was just looking at the warranty information, and it says here, if the battery capacity level gauge of your 30 kilowatt hour Nissan electric vehicle falls below nine bars, within 100,000 miles or the first eight years of the vehicle's life, Nissan will repair or replace the damaged battery components free of charge to bring the capacity up to nine bars. In other words, it would not have helped at all in this case because we're at nine bars, we're not below it. And even if we were below it, they would just bring it up to nine bars anyway. But what we'll do, we'll plug in a little dongle and we'll find out what the state of health is here. This is an OBD dongle. So if I plug this in, we'll be able to see what the battery state of health is like. Ah, okay, bit stiff. So, we plug that in there. Once the OBD dongle is plugged in, we can get lots of information using an app called LeafSpy. LeafSpy is really, really good. And what this shows us is that the battery state of health is 70%, which is pretty crap. But you'll see that one of the cells, cell number 13, lucky number 13, is pretty dead and that's probably causing all the problems so actually the buyer could take it to an independent workshop and they could get that cell replaced that faulty cell replaced and that would probably improve things the the battery degradation is still going to be bad but at the moment it's very um very iffy isn't it it's kind of it doesn't really know what state of charge it's at very well and it's kind of going up and down a bit and he had a nightmare driving it back because it was just dropping range a lot so that faulty cell is obviously causing problems um, there is apparently a bms update that can be done on the leaf so that's going to be interesting to see if that's an avenue if um the, the buyer can't just return it to the auction house i might end this video here i might there might be more to it i don't know but for now Thank you very much for watching. Please press the subscribe button and the bell icon and the like button, why not? Uh, to be notified of other videos. And I'll be back very soon. Bye for now.